All we can do really in terms of law enforcement and being state officials is be prepared for every potential scenario. And whether that means to protect voters themselves on election day or to protect the tabulation of the ballots and to ensure that the election is accurate, we're going to be doing everything that we possibly can. What are you practically preparing for on election day? Whether it's disorderly conduct, or loitering, whether it's brandishing for weapons-related offenses. The most important thing is this, we don't want people to harass voters when they are in the process of exercising what is a fundamental right, which is their right to vote. And I feel like it's my job to do everything I can to make sure that there's a safe and secure vote. And I'm very hopeful that law enforcement will agree. I'm noticing you use the word, I'm hopeful that law enforcement will agree. I think some people are gonna focus on the idea that it's not a certainty that law enforcement is gonna see things the way that you do. We're engaging these conversations right now. We have several weeks to continue our planning, but it's a process. 